welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and great news today, I have been sent by T-Expert, which is a company that has developed their resin curing machine. Now, T-Expert saw my video that I did on their resin and they really liked it, so they did send me this to test out and check. And I'm really pleased they did. I think this is a game changer at another level. I think it's lifted it up to the next level. It's bigger than the previous one, as you can see. This is the tray from the previous one, so it's quite a bit bigger. But the great thing is, that ridge there, that was on the previous one, isn't on either side of their trays. And their trays are really nice and hard. So that means that you can actually lay flat a mould right across there. Where previously, unfortunately, you did get that little bulge in the middle of this one. The other great thing is this one as well, if you turn the trays 180, then you get that extra depth in there of about that much, which is brilliant. But they also supply this. I think this is the game changer here. And this is a silicon implant. Silicon implant. This is a silicon attachment that you add to the tray like that. And then you can add your next tray into the top of that. And look how much more space you have in there. You could also do it and have the lid there if you want to. Again, making a really nice space on there. You just push the lid into that. I think this is a great addition. So that's now given you all that extra space, which is a considerable amount of space if you want to cure quicker, deeper moulds, which you couldn't do previously. They also have the 1 to 12 hour timer on it and a temperature control as well. And I think that's going to be really useful if you want to cure something maybe that's a little bit deeper and you don't want to do it so quickly or you just want to speed up the curing process, maybe if you're using a deep cure resin a little bit but not overly speed it up so i'm really pleased with the design of this the other great thing is it's an amazing price and also they have given me a brilliant huge discount code for the first 10 people that order one as well which is really surprising it gives a massive discount off and more about that coming up as a demonstration, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do some very thinner moulds, which are the jewellery moulds, because I can always do with more jewellery. I'm going to do a little dish mould and a sign mould, which was always difficult in the previous one because you couldn't get it in there without it going across somewhere, uh, the middle bit. And I'm also going to do some deeper moulds, a coaster, and some little round moulds as well. I'm going to be using, well, I think I ought to use the Tea Expert resin for this. It's a great resin, so I will use that as they sent this to me. And I'm going to be doing some clear and some with colour, and I will be pouring it in the trays because that makes it nice and easy to be able to move it to the machine and set it all up. Now, people have said to me, oh, but what about if you pour resin and get it on here? It actually comes off these trays really easily. As soon as it's cured, it just picks off. So, because you know how messy I can be. If this doesn't work out as good or it isn't as good as what I hope it's going to be, then I'm going to tell you because I'm under no obligation to give this a good review at all. So I'm hoping it works out because the dimensions and everything are really good. I've already filled up the majority of the clear ones. I'm just filling up this coaster. I think it's good to have a selection when you're testing something like this. Going over with my long neck light and never a torch, remember when you're on silicon moulds to pop any of the surface bubbles. Awesome thank you to all my members whose names are coming up. Now we are having a great time at our membership area with all the extra videos and competitions and things that we won. So thank you very much indeed. Now, what I want to say is it is so much easier because these trays are that much larger to use them to fill up your moulds in the actual trays as well. And it really does make a massive difference when you come to move them about. I think I'm going to try and get some bigger trays for pours as well, other pours, to enable me to move them about. Filling these up. Again, just a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee. If it wasn't for you people and my members, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And every penny I get gets reinvested into the channel. Again, I've decided that I want the largest gap there. So I gave that a turn round. Popping this lid on. And I've now got to set it up. It's really easy to set up. You don't need to worry about this flashing it's just the speed that my camera runs at because the actual lights don't flash i'm going to set this for three hours at 70 degrees centigrade 
and that should do an absolutely amazing job of this. And now what I'm going to do is let it cure up. Well, this is all finished now, and it ran for the time that I set it for. It bleak and then turned off, which is great. Now, what I will do is, it's quite a warm day here today, so I'm going to leave it about 10 minutes. But it is cured. Everything is lovely and hard. But I'm just going to leave it about 10 minutes to cool down. That, this is brilliant, this add-on here. I mean, that is just amazing. So good. And what I'm going to do is just leave them like that for 10 minutes to prove to you and show to you that these have cured. Look how hard they are. Everything is hard. This was the resin. Now, I don't normally waste resin like this, but this was the resin that I used to put into these things. There's the whatever colour that was. Here's the gold. Glittery one. And the wonderful titanium white as well. Look, so the, none of these are cured hard enough. They, you wouldn't be able to demold these. So let's take a look at the clear coaster. Completely hard, lovely and clear, apart from a bit of contamination that I got in there, which was a flower stem. And again, that tea expert resin that I use, lovely and clear look. Hardly any bubbles in that at all. Now, this larger mould is something I'm quite interested in because obviously I couldn't do larger moulds in the other one or tumbler moulds and things. So this is really going to be an interesting one. And that has come out l brilliant. And the lid fits on there nicely like that. And there we have a lovely little pot. Now, I wouldn't more normally make clear pots like this. I would usually have them with flowers or something in them. But I just wanted to show you that something taller can cure in there. And again, for this one. Now, I do use a lot of these pots. And I quite like the clear ones. Although this one looks like it has got a little bit of contamination with some glitter that was in the pot last time. But never mind. I like these because I like to plant little pl plants in them and give them to people. And they can see the roots and things growing in them but again that has come out really well perfectly hard and the other thing is I could knock out probably 10 or 20 of these now in a day which makes a big difference especially when you're trying to sell them these little balls that I like to use when I'm making sometimes earrings or charms and different things like that yeah they've cured lovely Look at that little flower all set in there. You can make lovely earrings and that with those. And you can put a lot more in than I crammed in as well because there's space all around it. And that's the great thing about these trays being larger and not having that middle spit to it. Oh, and that sign's come out nice. Not much white came through at the bottom there. And that's probably because the glitter was a little bit heavier, but that doesn't matter. I will put a vinyl something on there at some point. Let's have a look at this little dish, little trinket dish. Again, completely cured. I use that mould a lot, as you know. Oh, look how sparkly that is. Do you love a bit of sparkle? And again, that has come out really well. Solid, not bending at all. Completely hard. And this is going to be brilliant because I've got 150 key rings to make soon for a company and they want just clear blank key rings and then they're going to stick their sticker on them and they want a particular design i've got several of that mold but not enough to make 150 so now i'll be able to knock those 150 out in a day send them to them nice and easy bit of profit there here's my jewelry and that has come out really well lovely and sparkly i do, you know me i do love me glittery jewelry and all these pieces nice and cured so if you're setting up for a show or you're going to be selling lots or you just want to make things really quickly and not have to wait the 24 hours for it to cure then this is definitely the machine for you i cannot tell you how pleased i am with this upgrade it's brilliant really brilliant it's such a great price as well and the good news is as i was going to tell you for the first 10 people that buy one using my link t expert have given me a 30 percent off voucher so get on there quite quickly i mean that makes a big difference to getting 30 percent off as well so that's for the first 10 people who get there and buy themselves one of these machines well i'll definitely be using this a lot coming up and i'll also definitely be using this brilliant and very well designed attachment as well that goes on there to give you an extra amount of depth in your trays don't forget you can twist these round 180 degrees and that will also give you a lot more space so that's the depth at the moment and that will almost double that depth once you've turned it 180 lovely and smooth trays 
Easy to program, really, really easy. All you do is you use this to set your time however long you want, and you got up to 12 hours. So I will be using this when I dry paper mache stuff that I cast as well to get that speeded up a lot. I'll show that on my other channel. And if you haven't seen my other channel, check that out. Easy to set the temperature, and then you just push the little start button, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your art, and off you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to this resin games changer that just got a lot better and easier. Bigger trays, great design, exceptionally great price, brilliant discount available. Everything's in the description below. Well done, T-Expert. I'm really pleased I've found you. Or you found me. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.